The first thing you need to know is you need to start eating healthy. Don't let that television jibber jabber about cereal, pancakes, waffles draped in maple syrup fool you. All that is just jump packed with a bunch of calories and so much sugary goodness it's actually bad for you. All it does is raise your blood sugar levels and slows down your metabolism. So instead, try to have a more protein rich breakfast. Have some lean meat if you can. Have some eggs and if you have the access to it, have some whole grain and fibers in your, in your diet. And on that point, I have a very sweet tooth and I know some of you guys too. So it's very hard to resist the sugary goodness of this uh, chocolate uh, fudge. I don't even know, but it's so moist and so tender and so... I am salivating right now. But try your best to cut sugar out from your diet. No matter how hard it is, you don't really need that sugar. Opt for a more healthy choice like fruits or whatever you can find. Just cut out sugar from your diet. Just cut it out. No one needs to see this. So, we all know cars need fuel to run, and most of us know that the bigger the engine, the more fuel the car will actually require. So the same principle applies with our bodies. The more muscle we have, the more fuel our bodies will need. So building muscle actually forces your metabolism to uh, change gears. No? Nobody? Car? Metabolism? No? And it increases to help your body cope with all its nutritional demands. But Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Building muscle raises your metabolism, yes, but it also leaves you very hungry. Very, very hungry. <laughs> but our bodies confuse hunger and thirst, so try your best to stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water. Drinking water frequently not only helps with your digestion, managing your cravings and cooling your body, which all play a part in increasing your metabolism, but it also helps in lubricating your body, the same way the car oil lubricates every part of the car. It helps chemical reactions happen much smoother, so your metabolism can increase much, much better than it should have when you're dehydrated, I guess. So drink plenty of water and make sure you're eating healthy. And right. And not too much as well. Too many mangoes are bad for your health. Don't, don't do this. Now, the last and final thing when it comes to changing metabolism is you have to be patient. Patience is key to all good things. And you have to wait it out. It won't take one week to change your metabolism. It'll probably take three months for you to change it. So sit back, relax, enjoy your healthy lifestyle, and uh, be patient.